XRP 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 The Bulls getting ready to run out the game Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page and TikTok at High Vibe Assets. Let's go ahead and kick off this bullish content. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Vibe Assets back again with another dagger. The number one use case in digital assets is payments, okay? When you're thinking about the tokenization of all assets, that's another vertical you're thinking about, NFTs, and everything that you're thinking about with blockchain. But right now, the number one use case that's going to be adopted worldwide is which is going to lead to the adoption of more products and more verticals of what this technology blockchain can actually do, the number one catalyst that's going to send this technology into an oblivion is payments. Payments is the first vertical that this technology in its web of capabilities and how it's going to transform our life, how it's going to transform the way how we know how to do everything, pretty much. Payments is going to be the capitalist. And this is the time that we are in right now, ladies and gentlemen, can't you feel it? Everywhere that you go, especially when you see the Amazon of crypto ripple, right? Every large financial institution, every conglomerate, right? Even central banks and governments, when that discussion comes up about payments, It's always a frown on their face. They've expressed multiple times how the legacy payment system is slow, man. It it, it doesn't work. Not essentially of it's not working, but to the point to where it's antiquated and it's clogged up and it's slow. It doesn't have the capabilities to be fiat agnostic. That's what I mean by it doesn't work. And it's costing the institutions, man, millions of dollars in fees, millions of dollars in losses, no Volstro accounts, right? So if you want to do international business, you can't just send money in your currency and they accept it. Nah, you have to have a pre-funded account in the other country's jurisdiction, financial jurisdiction with that currency Sitting in the bank, let's just say if you're not doing business at a particular time, that fiat or that capital that you could be using and putting into your business is just sitting over there in an account. These financial conglomerates, right? These vanguards, (laughs) they want to be able to move that money and Ripple and XRP is the way to do it. I'm telling you, one of the biggest, if not the biggest transformations of our lifetime. Look. So there's going to be a lot of things in the mainstream media that's going to make you look here, make you look there to distract you from this opportunity. But when you understand and when you do your research, these companies right now, they are set to transform the payment infrastructure. Take a look at what I'm showing you right here on your screen, family. You know we got the juice on this channel. We got the current state of pay of emerging payments by Bank of New York Mellon, you know, you know that this is a major player in this brand new digital asset space. You know, essentially, they're really one of the forerunners, right? 
Bank of New York, Mellon, and Ripple have been swindling around for years now, right? And we're going to be seeing and taking a deep dive and seeing what they're talking about with this payments, the introduction. This is the first thing that they're talking about, right? Let's go back. When you're talking about the current state of play of emerging payments. So they're in it. They know exactly what's going on and they want to talk about it. The momentum of change and innovation in the payments market has accelerated the adoption of new technology and payment rails in real time payments have become ingrained in the fabric of the payment landscape and have spawned new expectations and demands from businesses to their financial services providers. They're telling you, look, man, this new technology, blockchain, distributed ledger technology, it fixes everything, right? Real-time payments, new payment rails, a new payment landscape, brand new technology, and it has grown into new expectations okay well what can it do more and new demand for this asset for this technology firms right now all around the world they are embracing innovative solutions that incorporate fast payments more robust data and automation tools and the providers offering those solutions are creating a new marketplace opportunity now look this is this is what you have to understand. This is what they're saying right now. It's the people that are providing these solutions right now to the market. They're the ones who are going to grasp the entire market cap and creating brand new market opportunities, creating a brand new asset class. And the amount of demand for this asset is astronomical. You have to understand what this is. This is protocols. Okay. This is infrastructure and XRP operates as an agnostic exchange token being fiat agnostic bridge currency, no matter what type of value that you want to transact in, in any financial jurisdiction in seconds, and it will settle it for less than a penny. Guaranteed that. Let's go ahead and keep going. At this point now, this is what Bank of New York Mellon is saying at this point. Real-time payments are not going to decrease in significance. In fact, their significance will only increase exponentially as more businesses recognize the MyRaid use cases and benefits accompanying real-time payment capabilities. They're saying that this is not slowing down, okay? This is picking up steam, (laughs) more demand. More businesses are recognizing the use cases, right? It's not just these businesses are using blockchain technology, Ripple and XRP, right? They have to see it so they can understand the potentials of this, right? These businesses are recognizing the use cases and benefits with real-time payment capabilities. These include, but are not limited to, check this out. Better cash positioning and reporting. Now, that may sound like something small, but just on a distributed ledger where essentially everything is on a ledger. You know exactly what those numbers are when you're talking about your cash positioning, your reporting. If you need to find out information or report certain information, right? That's that's that is valuable when you're dealing with business, okay? Improved working capital. This is going into the Nostro Vostro accounts that we've talking about how the legacy payment system doesn't allow for working capital to be deployed. A lot of this capital is trapped in these pre-funded accounts. They love this. They love these capabilities. Operational efficiency, greater customer loyalty, strong business partnerships, and even more satisfied employees. The benefits of real-time payments are truly universal. Countries around the globe share a common interest and desire for more efficient and faster payments. This white paper is written for banks and the clients that they serve to seek better understanding and usage, value, proposition, 
use cases, and future growth of real-time payments around the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand when you're talking about payments, XRP is positioned to take all the market cap in the damn world. That's fire right there. And we've covered that many times on this channel, and we're going to continue to cover it on this channel. When you're talking about payments, Ripple built this blockchain infrastructure. And that's a fact, Jack. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every time it's bullish. All right. Um, look, we've got a few questions coming in. I want to get to a few of these. We've got five minutes. Um, uh, to Dilip, uh, this question comes from the audience. Many people are using cryptos just to buy and sell and make quick gains out of it. Does it hurt the growth of cryptocurrencies, that usage for, for, for a quick buck? So, I mean, it's, it's kind of chicken and egg. You have to create a marketplace. And right now, we have about 150, 200 exchanges around the world that trade in XRP. Uh, a lot of it, as you say, is very shallow trading by individuals. And that is not the use case that we are pursuing. What we are pursuing is the use of XRP as a financial asset by sophisticated institutions as a bridging uh, mechanism. So, does this hurt or harm? Well, it creates a lot of noise. And, uh, you know, we certainly don't want that much noise, uh, but we're waiting. And for example, in this last quarter, uh, the bulk of XRP sales were to institutional investors. And as this transitions away from retail to institutions, we'll start to use it for wholesale um, you know, financial usage. That's when the turning point will come. Thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. But please let everyone know that the high vibe said that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. XRP, 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 the bulls getting ready to run out the gates.